Today on my channel, a romantic candlescape to help you get ready for those special moments. Hello everybody, Danny here. Today for this project, we're going to need three long stem tea light holders, stair steps, two fish bowls, one cylinder vase. We are also going to need some diamond bling wrap. I'm using the rhinestone as well as the green colored. Three pairs of these tea light holders. I'm working with the colors pink and green and uh, white. We're also going to need some pink pearl stickers as well as these flower bling wrap these flowers I'm gonna cut them off of the string and use them one at a time as you will see and last but not least of course you're going to need your glue gun and your E6000 glue and last but not least your scissors let's get crafting all right quick first step guys we are going to wrap these long stem tea light candle holders with bling wrap the color scheme that I'm using tonight is pink green and of course white and I have chosen to wrap the two shorter tea light holders in the green and the tallest one in white so pretty much as you can see I'm just taking my measurement to make sure that what I'm cutting off will go around that tea light holder flush and just pretty quickly going in with my tape cutting another one of the same length so that I will be prepared when I go to set my other one down I'm gonna go in with my glue gun as opposed to my e6000 and just quickly put some glue hot glue down wrap that around to ensure a tight snug fit and then I will complete the other two the second one in green and the tallest one in the white now that all of my tea light candles have been wrapped I am going to now use these other tea light candle holders to make a ball they're two halves I'm going to glue them together and as I'm showing you now once they have been glued together they will sit atop the long stem tea light holders so all I'm gonna do with this is just take my E6000 glue go around the edge of the first one pretty quickly making sure not to use too much glue we don't want it to ooze out in as much as we're going to cover that seam with bling wrap but at the same time and we don't want to use too much so that it oozes in we just want to use just enough so that it creates a good seal and good contact on the lips of those two candle holders so that we get a nice tight seal now that those tea light holders have set we're now going to place them on top of the long stemmed tea light holders and pretty easy just taking your e6000 glue making sure to get sufficient on the rim of the glass sufficient again but not too much because what I've noticed with the e6000 glue if you're gluing it inside glass and some of that gets in there that glass fogs up and we want to maintain as much as possible the crystal clearness of that long stem and so as you see here I've placed it on the tea light holder and I'm just pressing it down to ensure a nice tight clean fit now that I've done that and I'm waiting for that to set a little I'm just going to take my flower bling excuse me and I'm gonna cut them into individual pieces and I'm going to embellish the bottom or the base of that tea light holder just a bit to add some dimension to it so using my glue gun I'm just putting down a small portion of glue and I'm gonna do it in the four corners to ensure as much as possible that there is equal spacing. And I love how this looks already because as you can see, that rhinestone, even though it is clear, it is picking up the iridescence of the pink tea light holder that's glued on top of that. And so it'll give it a nice shine and a nice depth of brightness. Now that all of these 
tea light holders have been attached to their stems what we're going to do now is take some bling wrap that I have already pre portion sized and we're going to glue that inside the stem where those two tea light candle holders meet so again just using my e6000 glue getting a thin layer down not too much but sufficient enough so that it rests in that groove and that rhinestones those rhinestones will be able to sit securely in there and just making sure to get the rhinestones inside the groove itself and pretty much once you find the groove you are good to go because the groove ensures you that straight line all right so here is my most favorite part of this entire project and all I'm going to be doing is taking some of those individual flower bling wrap pieces and I am going to just quickly embellish the tops of those vases by spacing them out and going in with my um, pink pearls when I'm finished to just give it again another lift another dimension of pop of color so I'm going to be using this pattern going around on the two fish bowls and then I'm going to be doing something entirely different with the cylinder all right and here you can see what I did with the cylinder just some bling wrap around the top and around the bottom and those individual rosette pieces and then the tops of my fish bowl. And now here we have our long stemmed candle holders that we just made. And now we're gonna put everything together. I am going to put some glue atop of that pink tea light holder making sure again not too much but enough that's going to create a tight seal and then i'm going to quite simply just place my fish bowl on top of that press it down a little make sure that it is centered and set it to dry to ensure a permanent set and i think i've used <laughs> too much glue here in as much as I told you guys not to but anyway <laughs> you get the drift and there we have it our completed garden scape listen nothing says romance better than some glass some bling and some warm candlelight <laughs> If you enjoy this project, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up as well as give me a comment. Tell me what you like most about this. And if you're curious to see what other projects I have in queue, please be sure to click that subscription button and be sure to set notifications so that you will be able to see all of my videos. Lastly, if you are interested to see how I created that two story vanity, I will leave the link in the description box below. Until next time, this is Danielle. Be well. Mm -hmm.